Did you know that the Indian space program turned 60 on November 21st? The story began on November 21, 1963 at Tumba, a fishing village on the outskirts of Tiruvananthapuram. From a small launch pad, the 715 kg Nike Apache rose 208 km into the sky. The sight fascinated thousands of people in the area, which even motivated some of them to join the Indian Space Research Organization. The Nike Apache launch was an international effort under the United Nations. The launch took place in the presence of legends such as Vikram Sarabhai, father of the Indian Space Program, E.V. Chitnis, P.D. Bhavsar, A.P.J. Abdul Kalam, among others. On February 22, 1969, India launched its first truly indigenous rocket. The rocket carried a few kilograms of solid propellants and rose a few kilometers into the sky. Vasant Govarikar, who later became the director of Vikram Sarabhai Space Center, said it was a pencil-sized rocket. On July 18, 1980, India became part of a select club of nations to put their satellites into orbit using their own launch vehicles with its SLV-3 rocket launch. The SLV-3s were followed by the augmented satellite launch vehicles, ISRO's most trusted polar satellite vehicles, and the geostationary satellite launch vehicles. Though ISRO has had its share of failures, today India is an influential spacefaring nation. India made history with its successful Chandrayaan-3 launch on August 23, 2023, making it the first country to land on the moon's south pole. On the strength of its rockets, India has been able to build and launch satellites for a variety of applications including remote sensing, weather forecasting, communications, navigation, surveillance, tele-education, cartography, prospecting resources, etc. It has also embarked on deep space science missions to study the moon, Mars, the sun and distant stars.